Hey guys, it's Model Horse Love, and welcome back to my channel. Um, if you didn't know, uh, Briar Fest is going to be online this year due to global health problems, but um, we are going to, I'm going to still be going, so that's exciting. Um, I bought one ticket, so I'm really excited, and I'm hoping to get some cool horses from it, so I figured I would just go ahead and do a review of all the model horses that Briar has come out with so far as of... Wait a second, we'll see when I actually post this. Um, so anyways, yeah, uh, what was they say? Yeah, so I'll be going, um, I got one ticket, but I'm just going to review them um, in order when they came out, like basically, or actually just in order of like Identifier Briar, and the cow one's out, just a sec. And so I'll be showing their lovely pictures on the screen, um, and so, you, so that you can look at them as, as I review them. So you can look at them as a review. So, um, yeah, I just have them pulled up. I have Identify Your Briar on my phone. So, yeah, let's see. The first one is Balano Castle RM. He is a bay on the Shirt Jumping Warm Blood Mold. He has the long mane and tail variation. Um, I really love this mold and I'm glad they're using it. Um, and I don't have one in the long mane and tail variation. I just have Cedric with the braided mane and tail. Um, and I do want to get my hands on one with the long mane and tail. However, I'm trying to limit my collections to more limited models um, unless like, I really like the regular run um, and so I know that for, there's so many others on the loose maintenance and tail mold that I'd rather have for example I'm really looking for an Apollo and a glossy one, glossy one upon, once upon a time for a good price so I think I'll be selling or trading mine um, but he is cute and I like adventures and jumpers and stuff so I'm happy that the real horse is that and I would have been actually really excited to see him had Briarfest been in Kentucky Next is the Celebration model. This is Difflin. Um, you know, I'm not a huge fan of the S3 mold, um, and he's just a, I do like black horses, but he doesn't, his black looks like very flat. Like with my Glossy Dark Horse surprise, and even to a certain extent, well Glossy Dark Horse actually has like good shading. Um, the, this guy is kind of more of a flat black, but I don't know, it suits him better. I just don't think the black, glossy black suits um, Deflin, but that's just me. Um, but I mean, obviously, if I got him, I'd be ecstatic, though I would try to probably trade him for another limited model. Um, next are the single sale links. First is Jersey. Um, he's on my favorite um, stablemate mold, like, ever currently, the um, Walking Thoroughbred mold, or Grayson mold, so I'm going to be getting the four-pack, hopefully. Um, so I really like Jersey. Um, and then next is Orkney. Um, I'm really not a fan of this Clydesdale mold. Um, the color is nice. It is very metallic, but I like the gloss. So I just have to wait to see him in hand. But if I'm get the four pack, I'd probably keep him because resale value probably is going to be very high on this specific horse. But yeah. Um, next is Sky. Is another single day stable mate. Uh, it's on the new uh, mold that was going to be, is Charleston I think, it's like a little Morgan, um, but he's got a kind of a, I don't know if it's like, it's like a, not a liver chestnut, but he's got like a, he's like a dark, I forgot the color it is, but I'll insert the name if I can remember, but I think he's really cool, cool and glossy, he's not like my favorite ever, um, but yeah, he's probably my third favorite out of the three. Next is Aron, who's my favorite out of the three, because it's a mini Croy, and I think the mini Croy honestly looks almost as detailed as the the traditional one from this photo and the color looks really nice um so i just think it's a really pretty bay roan and it looks really detailed so i'm super ecstatic for this horse that's definitely my favorite i'd say and then my second favorite is jersey because i love the mold the color is just not as exciting um and my third favorite would be sky and then orkney but i'm definitely next are the raffle models which i adore both of them this year i'm not sure how the raffles are going to work i don't think i'm going to win a third year in a row but you know if i did i would not be angry um, so this, I love them both. The Saturday raffle is Order of the Thistle, and it's a Champagne Pinto on the Hamilton mold. Um, I really like the Hamilton mold, and Briar, I think, is, this is a, probably the best champagne they've ever done. Um, he just looks so nice, and his eyes even look really nice. Like, he, he kind of has, like, the amber eyes, so I just adore him. I think he's amazing. Um, and his tail is super cool. It's got, like, an ombre, so. Oh, and the ribbon is green, which I think is a nice, like, little... I don't know, detail. But then, then we have the Sunday Raffle, who is Fields of Heather on the new Akalteke mold. Um, for some reason I thought this mold was a mare, but it's not. I wish it was a mare. I think it'd look really good as a mare, but anyways, this horse is 
beyond gorgeous. This is my favorite Briarfest model day for 2020. Um, I love him so much. This new mold is beautiful. I like my like blinkier horses and I don't have an Apple Techie. Well, technically this is an S Paris horse and I show my Wonderlust as an S Paris. But anyways, I just think this horse is so cool and I'll definitely be trying to get a release on this mold like once they're more obtainable. Um, but I'll definitely be entering for this guy because his like color and like the pattern is like exquisite. Like it's so detailed and like it looks like he has like nice modeling and stuff and I don't know why like I don't really like Appaloosas that much in real life but on model horses I'm obsessed so I don't know. Um, next is Beats who's the Diorama Contest Prize. I don't like the Frisian mold but buttermilk and buckskins are like my weakness um, so I think his color is gorgeous. I have not even thought about the Diorama Contest because I wouldn't have done it if I went to Briarfest if it was in real and if it was in Kentucky because I don't want to try to fly a Diorama up there. But um, I actually haven't even looked at the rules because I'm sure they're, they've changed um, since it's going to be online. So I'll see if I want to enter or not. Um, if so, I have to get on that. But, yeah. Okay, so next are the special runs. These are in order of when they came out, but I'm just going on order of Identify Your Briar. So first we have, actually, no, no, we're going to go in order of my favorite to least favorite. No, we're going to go least favorite to favorite. That'll be fun. Okay. So my least favorite is Hamish. Um, I just don't collect the animals. Like, I feel like all Briar cows, like, look the same, but that's just because, like, I really don't care about them. But, like, I mean, the colors, I guess, kind of cool. I'm just, like, not a fan. So next, my next least favorite is Boudica. Okay, I don't hate her as much as some people do, but, like, because I like the mold, I just think she'd be so pretty if she didn't have that paint on her, which I know is the whole point because she's a decorator, but, yeah, I mean, I like the idea behind her. Like, it doesn't like some <laughs> women, but, like, not, not a fan. Um, I would say my next least favorite would be Ash, just because as much as I love Othello, like, he's just a simple double gray, and I think that, like, he might be chalky, though, he looks kind of chalky, but, um, there's just, like, so many better options for Othello, like, well, I'm trading away my, um, volunteer model, who I love, my Churchill, and I think he's, like, a much nicer version, but, like, I just much rather, like, go after, like, I like my Mariah's being better than this horse, who's just a celebration model, so, but I wouldn't pay the special run price for him, you know. Um, and then next least favorite would probably have to be Luke. I, oh, by the way, if I'm, I'm probably not pronouncing any of these right, so just don't at me. I'm not Celtic. Um, anyways, so Luke, he's on the sham mold. I'm just not the biggest fan of sham, um, but I do really like the color, and I like the, the bicolored tail is really pretty, and it looks like he has nice detailed eyes. So, like, this is the point where, like, I wouldn't be, like, Starting from like between him and Ash is like the point where I wouldn't be like upset on the horse I just like don't really want them. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't be upset on them because I think the color is really nice and the mold's cute It's just like not my favorite because I'm not a huge vintage person And then my next would be um, the Marin Fold set Bridget and Biltan um, I love this mold, but I just already have the premiere set and I prefer them So like I don't really feel the need to have two again. I'm not like a huge conga person um that being said, like, the foal is absolutely adorable, although its tail is weird because it's, like, half white and half black. I don't understand it. It's, like, it should just, like, fade, you know? Um, but, yeah, like, they're cute. I just like my, my solid ones better. Um, next up is Thorn. Um, so, I actually, this is, like, I really like Thorn. Um, I'm, again, I don't like vintage molds, but I do like this, um, the Tricaner mold with the new tail because it does have some charm. He just looks like an old old warm blood you know schoolmaster and the powder is really nice and yeah so my next favorite would have to be Epona who was the first one released um I do already have a strapless but it's on the loose mane variation so I'd like to have a braided mane variation um eventually I want to get probably Aphrodite or bluegrass but I'd be happy with this girl as well um but yeah so I think she's gorgeous I love the pattern double gray pinnos are like to die for I love double gray pinnos so I just think she's gorgeous and I'm glad that they're doing more mirrors this year. Um, and then my favorite special run is um, Oak. So I really like the George mold, but I don't necessarily, I'm not in love with George himself. Like the color is good. It's just like, I don't know. I don't really feel the need to get him, but like a nice happy, like this guy's so cute. Um, he looks like he's got like some vintage style like varnishing, but he could still obviously be very viable in the show ring as a realistic color even though he's 
some like vintage aspects to his paint job. I just think he's so cute and such a chunky boy and I really don't have that many drafters. So he's definitely my favorite. Um, obviously we'll have to see who this prize is, but my plan for now is to get um, Oak, or Oak, is that it? Yeah, Oak and the surprise. And then my third, like my alternate are um, Epona and then Thorn. So yeah, that's, that's all the special runs. Um, then we have the store specials. So first is Benelli. I do really like the color. Um, believe it or not, like I'm not the world's biggest Chanel Del fan, especially I don't really like the braided mane and tail version. Um, I do like the loose mane and tail version. Um, but I don't think I plan on getting him unless I got him for resale just because I'm just, I don't know, I'm just not a huge fan and I don't really like the purple in his mane. I just, I'm not, I don't like this version. I think I'm gonna just wait to get a Shannon Dell and get the um, Christmas horse whenever a buyer does a collector's club appreciation thing at the end of the year. Hopefully that's that's my plan to get a Shannon Dell because it's my friend Gabby's favorite old and I mean I think the reason I don't like it is I just like it's so popular and I like just like I'm not the biggest drafter fan and I definitely like George better so I'm more excited about him but it's like he's definitely got a sweet face so I'm definitely excited to get the Christmas horse but I don't think I'll be getting this guy just because I like the Christmas horse a lot better. And I have to spend, you know, like $125 or whatever come December, so. I mean, I just have to. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Um, next is Cheesecake. No. His name, yeah, it's like, okay, well, his, his name is actually Fa A Bala. I'm sure I pronounced that perfectly. Um, but he's cute, actually. I think his color's really unique. Like, it'll be interesting. I think that he might look better in person. Um, I know I actually might get him. I kind of think I might like him better than the, the first one, the, uh, the Shannon Dell. He's now that I'm looking at him, he's like not that bad. Like he does look like a buttered popcorn jelly bean, but besides that, he's very cute. Um, and then next is Top Gun. W H Top Gun. Um, I don't feel the need to get this horse. He looks kind of like the green alligator kind of thing. His eyes look nice in detail, but honestly, like if I wanted a horse in this color in this one, I'd just get the regular run because it looks so much nicer. Like it has a lot subtler dapples. This one has a lot more dapples, and they kind of like fish scaling so I just feel no need to own this horse but I hope he looks better in person but of course I can't see him in person before I chose to buy him so I'm just gonna pass and then the last horse is that I'm gonna review today is the only horse that has been released for the uh, pop-up shop and it's Green Man and it's a uh, the Mighty Muscle Draft which is one of my favorite classic molds but he's just this like ugly green color with this ugly like kind of tacky looking pattern on him and like fairies and stuff and I'm sure it means something, but it's ugly, so it's going to be an easy pass for me. They, I was like, because I like this, and I even like the unicorn they released on this mold, and then they just did that. I'm like, this horse like can look good in anything, and then they released this, and I'm like, oh. Like, spoke too soon. <laughs> Briar can make anything look, any mold look ugly. I mean, I love you, Briar. Like, you do an amazing job with everything, and I just kind of hate all decorators in that sense. Anyways, so, yeah. Anyways, on that lovely note, um... Comment below what your favorite run for Briarfest this year is. I think my favorite, just in general, is the Akiltechi raffle model, um, and the and the Saturday raffle too. But like my favorite um, one, that's like not a raffle model, is definitely Oak. Hi, editing Chelsea here. Um, I just wanted to pop in um, because some more models were released since I filmed this video. So um, just two, just the best cons customs contest uh, prize and reserve prize. So first is I think Cornwall, and he's a black with the same pattern as Latigo. Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of this model. Um, I mean, I do love the Latigo mold and I love Latigo. Um, like, I love the pattern, but the black color is kind of looking like a weird dark gray and it doesn't look entirely realistic to me for some reason. So, like, I'm not even super bummed that I'm not going to ever own this model like I was with the black Bristol um, Leap of Faith. But, yeah, so not super bummed I don't own this horse. He's kind of cute, but the black color just doesn't do it for me. I don't like it. It looks like a weird gray, not an actual true black. And the reserve, um, Breton, I guess is his name, is a mini of the Darwin. Um, and I do love this mold, um, and I like the pattern. But again, the color's kind of weird. However, since it's on a stable mate, it's not, like, as off-putting. Um, so I do like him quite a bit. But again, not super bun that I don't miss him. But I, he's actually probably one of my favorite of the stable mates, just because I love the mold, even though I'm not a fan of the color. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys at Virtual Briarfest. Hopefully I'll, I'll be doing, like, a Briarfest haul videos and stuff. I'm going to be investing more money, I'm a college student, and I'm also going to be, like, investing more money in real horses, so I don't know if I, like, would have really wanted to go if I didn't, like, volunteer, because that at least, like, I would consult the volunteer model to recoup some of the costs if I needed to, um, but 
in the air. I don't know, man, anymore. This is wild. Okay, bye.